guys, it's Jessie V. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the history of wax museums because I find them to be one of the creepiest things in the world, honestly. But I'm also gonna be telling you a really creepy wax museum story about someone who worked there on a night shift. It is absolutely terrifying, my worst nightmare ever. And you know what? We're just gonna get right into today's video. Surprising, right? So Madame Tussauds Wax Museum is one of the most famous wax museums in the world. It features over 50 wax models of celebrities and important figures. Some look eerily similar to them as though they are literally standing in the room with you and others, uh not so much, but every year hundreds of thousands of people visit these museums and there are apparently 21 throughout the world. And really the purpose of these wax museums is so that celebrities and important figures can live on forever to really immortalize people from history. Now, many people know of her wax museum, but not a lot of people know the history of Madame Tussauds herself. She was born in 1761 as Marie Groscholtz and her mother was a maid for a doctor named Curtis who made wax models and his creations were a way to help anatomy students at the time because working on a real corpse back then was frowned upon so he'd make these really realistic wax figures of bodies to help them then Curtis eventually moved to Paris to begin creating wax models of real famous people and he even started to teach Marie how to create these sculptures in her early teens and she absolutely loved it and she was really really good it. Curtis eventually opened up an exhibition hall in 1782 and Marie saw firsthand how much money you could make creating these really realistic wax figures. Now at the time of the French Revolution, she was often summoned to create wax figures of decapitated heads to be used as propaganda. In 1794, Curtis passed away and he left everything to Marie. So she took on the name Madame Tussauds and was invited to London to to exhibit her figures. Madame Tussauds died in 1850 at the age of 89, and just before she passed, a wax figure of her was created, and it is still on display at the London Museum. Now, this was an incredibly summed up version of her life, by the way. This would have been like a 45 minute long video if I went into everything. She had a crazy life. But now that you know like the history of wax museums, why they are there in the first place, I wanted to tell you a very creepy story called Closing Time. I found this creepy story about a guy that said that when he was in his teens, he went to apply for a job at a small wax museum in his town. It was owned by an older man and woman who had been creating these sculptures for years. And one day they placed a help wanted sign in the window. Now he was really surprised to find out that he got the job on the spot. Basically right after he introduced himself, they were like, you're hired. His job description was to sweep the floors, clear out the cobwebs, give tickets to the paying customers and close down the museum at night. He just figured that the owners were trying to retire and were looking for someone to take over their museum. Now there was this one very strange thing that they told him. They said that when it was closing time and he had ushered everyone out of the museum and cleaned the floors, etc., they warned him that right when he turned off the lights, he was to exit the museum immediately and lock the doors. He thought that maybe they had like an alarm that was scheduled to go on at a certain point and that that's why they wanted him out of there as soon as possible. So after a couple weeks of working there, he followed their rules exactly. He noticed that only a couple of customers went through the museum every single day. Otherwise, it was completely empty. No one really went there that often. It was like people had forgotten about this place once bigger and better exhibits came out around the world. This was just like a little family run place and it just could not compare to the really professional sculptures. There was this one evening he was closing down the exhibit and he turned off the lights getting ready to rush out when he heard this scuffling noise behind him. He stopped in his place and sort of wondered what it could have been. Maybe it was an animal? He began to continue walking towards the doors when he heard it again. This time he turned around, even though he was warned never to do so. The room was so dark that he could only see the shadowy silhouettes of all of the wax figures. It was like 50 people were standing in a room with him. He said it was the 
creepiest feeling he had ever experienced. So he ran for the light, turned it on, and he swears to this day that some of the wax figures were in completely different poses than when he had last saw them. There was a wax figure of Dorothy and her dog that was slightly closer, and her head was aimed directly towards him. He also could have sworn the figure of Anne of Green Gables was once sitting on a grassy carpet, and she was now standing with one foot in front of her as if she was about to run towards him. All he could do was look around shocked at how different they all looked now. They were all completely still, but somehow felt more alive. He found his courage, turned off all the lights, and then ran as fast as he could towards the doors. He slammed them behind him, locked the doors, and then backed away, trying to catch his breath. But then he saw the doorknob twist ever so slightly, and of course anyone he's told this story to doesn't believe him. But he quit his job that next morning and moved out of town, hoping to never ever come across that museum ever again. So I found this story to be so creepy because I have a fear of mannequins, wax figures, anything that looks humanoid that is not alive really scares me. So no, I would never apply to work at a wax museum. Oh my goodness. But I am really tempted. We have a wax museum near our house that I'm tempted to go to for the vlog channel, but I don't know if I want to put myself through that, but maybe it'd be entertaining for you guys. So we'll see. I'm not making any promises. Anyways, so guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!